Hello guys, Pablo here. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we'll be, we'll be looking at the Ripple emulator, which is a Google Chrome extension that allows you to emulate BlackBerry devices so that you can test your app and get an idea of uh, what it's going to look like in a real device and how it's going to behave. Um, we can download this emulator from developer.blackberry.com slash html5 slash download um, you download this CRX file and once it's downloaded you need to go to settings and then extensions and you have to drag that file onto this area and that will install the extension in order to test your apps in this emulator you need a web server you can um, install a web server such as uh, WAMP or MAMP and so forth or you can use the web server that comes with this emulator which is a great thing in case you don't have a web server set up or you don't want to do that um, so let me just show you something if we're gonna use the emulator that comes the, sorry the web server that comes um, with the Ripple emulator, we have to create a folder called Ripple Sites in our home folder. If you're in other operating, operating systems, um, you have to create this in other locations. That's for Windows XP, Windows 7, and Mac OS. Um, so, what if I, why do I need a web server? What, what if I just open this in my browser? It's a web. It's a web page. Which, by the way, it's the kitchen sink uh, for the WebWorks uh, library. You can get that from uh, BlackBerry's GitHub page. It's a project called WebWorks Community Samples, and then go into kitchen sink. It has a whole bunch of cool examples that show different HTML5 aspects and and some and many uh, BlackBerry APIs and how they. How they work. It's actually pretty cool. Should take a look at it. Um, so we've we've downloaded that into our Ripple's Ripple Sites folder, and you see you saw that I just opened this uh, in my web browser without using the web server. Well, if I enable the Ripple emulator here, I'm gonna get um, an error message because files uh, must be served from a web server for this thing to work. Um, in order to, to get that web server up and running it'll say here start Ripple services, you click on that and it's gonna create a, this local web server on port um, 9910 so if we go to that port localhost uh, Yep. Um, localhost 9910 kitchen sink index this is a, a web server that's only um, available in the web browser it's not available all over the operating system so you know um, so see that I've, I've served this same file but um, with the web server and now I'm gonna enable the Ripple emulator and the first time you run that on a page, it's going to ask you uh, the platform you want to target. Uh, I chose BlackBerry 10. So, see how it's um, showing the real device and what the page is going to look like. It's actually pretty big, so you can um, zoom out a little bit if you need to. In this area on the left, um, you can have a play with the orientation you can change to a different platform, you can get some uh, uh, information on the on the device that you're emulating and you can simulate, you can uh, give this app some values uh, such as uh, accelerometer values let's go into the accelerometer example in the kitchen sink so that you can see um, what I mean mm. Not sure where it is, but it's somewhere here. Yeah, there it is. And I need to go 
up a little bit. Yep, there it is. So um, see how I can move um, this virtual device and the app thinks that there's a real phone that's being moved but it's all being emulated. So that's that's really cool if you're using this particular API. Um, there's an invoke area here which is used um, to call certain Blackberry things such as the the the, uh, the, 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 the store or the photo albums. Then um, you can also emulate uh, ne network settings, geolocations, so you can define you can define a certain location where you're at, and then see um, that the app will actually think that you are there, and so that that's actually very useful when you're testing. Um, it means that you don't have to um, run around your neighborhood to test certain features. Um, there is also um, Another one I wanted to show you it was the notifications. There's that web notifications, and it actually you have to give permission, and then you can you can uh, get notifications. That's that's by the way something that comes in the kitchen sink uh, sink, and I find um, pretty cool. Um, you can also emulate certain events. Uh, this gives you a summary of the configuration file on your app. That's the config.xml file. And something that, that we're not going to cover in this particular um, video, but I'm just going to point it out, uh, is that you can also package and and, and launch in the, em in the simulator um, your app. Um, you have to just um, Define the correct settings here, the, the path of your SDK, um, the location of your project, a file name, and then you enter uh, the AP address of your of your simulator and a few other things. You can launch it all from here or you can do it all using a command line. So um, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I recommend you to look into the kitchen sink to have a good look at the examples because there's a lot of stuff um, here that's that's very useful if you're um, working for Blackberry and other stuff it's it's, it's, it's just a HTML5 wide it's not really specific to Blackberry and it's it's a good summary of a lot of um, features and, and things and APIs that are, are around well um, thank you for your attention and see you next time